Is Ava a killer? I hope Ava's a killer, but I already have something to be critical about. This girl is pissing me off. This is probably why you didn't get into Stanford, my darling. I'm just... I'm just saying. At this point, this video is just me ranting about how stupid Lexi is. I would not take the fall for her because that's her own problem. This book just gets stupider and stupider as I read on. <laughs> Everybody, it's your girl Jay who is actually from the future because when I went to go edit this vlog I found out that I lost the intro to it so we're re-filming that intro to explain what it is you're actually going to see because if I didn't have this intro clip it would make absolutely no sense so hi thank you for joining me on this blind book challenge sometime last year I had filmed a video that I called like the blind try a chapter tag where my mom actually took four of my books and she wrapped them in manila paper so I read the first chapter of all four of them and had you guys vote on which ones you wanted me to read next so I actually already read one of the four which is why you only see three here if you're interested in seeing the first video where I read a book blindly and try to figure out what it is I'll leave it down below but this is the second episode and the book that you guys voted for next was the book that I called the twin book in the next clip you'll see what the book is actually about because I'm not gonna go into it now because I've actually read a good chunk of it so I actually know more so we're not gonna talk about it until those clips but I just wanted to explain what it was that you were getting yourself into so that you guys could decide whether or not to watch this video. It will have spoilers for whatever this book is called. I will leave the name of the book down below in the description box. If you want to decide whether or not you want spoilers based off of this book, go check out what book this actually is before you decide to watch the video. If not, just like speed through so that I get the viewing time, you know? <laughs> but that's what this video is. Me trying to figure out what the heck this book is and whether or not I actually like it or not. Um, spoiler alert, I do not so far. So <laughs> it's a lot of me just being sassy and ranting about this book. So if that's something that interests you, keep watching. If not, I'll see you in my next video. So this is the twin book. That's what I ended up naming it based off of the first chapter. But the first chapter follows a set of twins, Lexi and Ava, who pretend to be their imaginary friend named Alicia. So the first chapter is Lexi going on a date with this guy named Casey, who ends up like trying to rape her in a car. It was like a whole thing. I did not have a good time reading that chapter, but I'll leave the chapter tag down below if you want to like check out my reactions to the first chapter but it was a lot but she ends up getting home after escaping from this date and her sister Ava asked her oh like hey how did the date with Casey go and she was like mm, damn like that was not a good time I did not have fun like he's not a good guy it turns out that Ava also was pretending to be Alicia at a party on the same night and their twin rule is that you can't pretend to be Alicia on the same night because then like people could get confused and discover that they're pretending to be this whole other person. So Lexi proposes that they probably shouldn't continue to use Alicia as this pseudonym because people are gonna start to catch on, they're going off to college soon, they need to like be their own people. And Ava is like not having it. She's like, no, Alicia's a good thing. We need to keep her around. And then Lexi starts talking about how Casey needs to be punished for what he tried to do. And I'm getting like John Tucker vibes from it. So like, I'm hoping that it turns into like a whole revenge plot and and they use Alicia as like their scapegoat, you know, that'll be a good time. But I'm not thinking that that's what's going to happen. I think, think, I don't know, that Alicia is like their triplet that died or something. Like, I don't know. But I'm feeling that it's like some thriller or like a dual personality thing. I don't know. But um, I'm intrigued. I'm going to continue reading this. It's only 326 pages. So I feel like I can probably get through today. It's 1041 in the morning. Okay, I'm only on page 23. So I'm not much farther. But I already have something to be critical about. So one of the twins rules is that they're not allowed to be Alicia in their hometown so that people don't come up to them and start asking them where Alicia is and it gets confusing and they have to explain Alicia's like out of town or something. Wow, this guy who never gets named, I don't know his name, but he comes up to Lexi in a cafe in their hometown and she's studying for her statistics exam the next day on Monday and he's like oh my god like Alicia I haven't seen you in so long how you been like what's up girl and she's like no man like my name's Lexi I 
I'm not Alicia. And so Lexi's kind of confused because they have this rule and she's like, okay, so clearly Ava was like seeing this guy, but I don't know anything else. And he said like, oh yeah, we met at that show, like in wherever it was. And she's like, oh, okay. So clearly this is like one of Ava's rejects and he's from out of town. So like, it's fine. But then he like sits down beside her and they start talking and he goes, what? Like you look just like her. You must be her sister. And he's, she's like, yeah, we're sisters. And and so he's like, okay, so like Alicia told me that you have a sister named Ava and you're Lexi. So like, how does that work? Ava and Alicia sound like each other, but Lexi's like right out. And she's like, oh, like my name's actually Alexa. I just go by Lexi. And he's like, oh, that makes sense. But like, why do people always name their sisters as like things that rhyme? And I'm just like, dude, Ava, Alexa, and Alicia do not rhyme. Like they all end in A and they all start with A, sure. But that's not what rhyming is. So like, maybe I'm being overly critical, but like, what? I will say though, I really like Lexi. She's so funny. So this guy came up to her and they're talking, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, maybe I'll see you around sometime. He pauses as he turns to go. Must be fun having other people who look just like you, he says, studying me. I bet you could have a great time with it, you know, sitting in each other's classes, taking each other's tests, fooling people into thinking you're the other sister. And then he goes off to his friends and she's like watching him. And she just goes, you poor dumb bastard, I say into my keyboard, trying to get his face out of my head. You really have no clue. So I just finished chapter three and that was a doozy. Oh my God. So long story short, Casey is now dead. He had his throat slit in the Cheesecake Factory parking lot in his car, which is the same parking spot that he had his date with Lexi in and she is like freaking out because like he's dead and it's the day later and she's like holy shit like what if somebody saw me and they saw like my license plate and me running from the car and they're gonna follow me home and they're gonna kill me next oh my god ava's just like yeah whatever he deserved it and lexi's like um nobody deserves that and <laughs> ava is like a stone cold bitch she's like mm, maybe Maybe not. After all, they do say karma's a bitch. So like, did Ava kill him? Like, because he tried to rape Lexi? Like, is this like a sister bonding? Like, girl, don't worry, I got your back always thing. Or like, what happened? Like, is Ava a killer? I hope Ava's a killer. I will be here for Ava if she is just gonna take out all the people who do Lexi wrong. Okay, I'm here for it. Just finished chapter four and Lexi is trying to get into Stanford. It's like been her dream forever. And she just got the email that says that she's not getting into Stanford. She's basically having like a panic attack and like freaking out and like she doesn't care about school anymore. Like nothing matters because she didn't get in. So what if she decides to apply as Alicia and then she goes in as Alicia and then she lives her life as Alicia and like fucks things up as Alicia or she like becomes Alicia because she can't get into Stanford and just goes on the like rampage of being a, a bad girl because now life doesn't matter. I'm probably way off. I'm just, I don't know where this book is going. I'm very confused at this point. Like we're four chapters in, a lot has happened, but nothing has really developed at all other than Casey dying. And like, that was the whole plot of the book. So now what? So Lexi, as Alicia is on a date with the guy from the cafe whose name is Eli. We finally know his name, but as like a last hurrah saying bye to Alicia, Ava's like, you're going out to dinner with Eli because you're depressed about not getting into Stanford. So she goes on this date and then she thinks that she sees Ava at the place that they go to and she like calls her and she's like, what the heck, why are you spying on me? And Ava's like, what are you talking about? I'm in my room. She sends a picture of her in her room Room. And so what I'm thinking is that Alicia is real because also in a couple chapters back they got a speeding ticket in the name of Alicia saying that they were driving a Honda which neither of the twins have and I'm thinking because this is another point that I didn't talk about yet but the twins are adopted they were left on their dad's restaurant's doorstep so I'm thinking there was another baby and they're actually triplets and they just got separated or something or 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 I have a whole new theory they were triplets because when they were younger Alicia was their imaginary friend but I'm thinking that something happened to Alicia and their dad just said oh yeah it's they, she was your imaginary friend because he didn't want 
them to find out what happened to her because like maybe she died or something and like to not traumatize them he told them that alicia was an imaginary friend but she's actually real and she left or something i don't know they got separated but now she's back who or or when they were left on the doorstep the mom ended up running away a couple years later so maybe it's like a parent trap thing and she took one kid with her and then he kept the other two and now alicia is coming back to like i don't know haunt them i don't know haunting i don't know but that that's my new theory on top of the other okay, theory so now on chapter 12 and they're at like a party or something and it's lexi as alicia and ava as ava lexi's now seeing eli and he just made like the grossest comment ever he asks if she wants a beer and she's like no i want a coke oh a diet coke because like that's what alicia drinks because she's a skinny girl and then the next like passage is all he says with an exaggerated look of disappointment on his face he puts his lips close to my ear as he whispers i was hoping to get you drunk and then we could mess around like i was rooting for you eli and you just you just took that away i you're gross like ew ew okay this book just gets stupider and stupider as i read on so i'm on chapter 17 now and lexi just got arrested for the death of dylan because dylan who was dating alicia who was ava cheated on her so ava went and started like an altercation fought the girl that he was making out with on the beach and then the next day he turns up dead lexi's like oh my god ava killed him i got a cover for her which i'm sorry if my brother or sister killed somebody i'd be like <laughs> death's on you bitch like <laughs> you're done and i would not take the fall for her like I, I don't even care like even if like my mom murdered somebody i would i would not I would not take the fall for her because that's her own problem. But anyways, the cops show up at the school and they're asking about where's Alicia, we have a warrant to arrest Alicia. Ava and Lexi are called down to the principal's office and they see the cops and they're like, okay, like we'll come clean, Alicia's not real. And they're like, well, Dylan's dead, so how are you gonna explain that? Lexi is like, oh, it was all me, take me, not Ava, blah, 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 blah. So she gets taken to the police department in handcuffs and she She's like being interrogated by the police and they're like we have eyewitnesses that put you on the beach last Thursday when an altercation broke out with Dylan Harrington and a young woman named Selena Lee and at that point I would have just been like yeah that was Ava but this idiot is like yeah that was me yeah he was cheating on me like I would have just full-on sold out my twin sister like hello i am not going down for your mistakes sorry uh we're only on page 182 of 326 so we still got a while to go and i um, thinking it's gonna be a two star also every single cop has a name except for the woman cop she's just known as the woman cop why why doesn't she get a name it just bo it bothers me. I'm on chapter 20 now and Lexi is freaking out about Eli because Eli discovered that Alicia's not a real thing and Lexi and Ava have been pretending to be Alicia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that was like a long time ago. But now she's freaking out because everybody who's dated Alicia is turning up dead, right? So she's like, oh my God, Eli's next. And she really likes Eli. So she's trying to like text him and call him and all this stuff. But what I don't understand is if you are being accused of murdering all these people, why, why would you try to go and see Eli, one of the men who you think is next on the hit list, when you were literally getting charged with murder. Like, would you not just go to the police and be like, hey, by the way, I also dated this guy. I think he's in danger. Can you like go check it out and make sure he's okay instead of like you yourself going? Because obviously he's gonna turn up dead and then you're gonna be on the scene of the crime and then it's gonna be like, well, you did it because you're here. Like, I don't, the logic in this book this Lexi character drives me insane because just she does not think ever it just it, thinking is not her main focus in life which she was all needing to go to Stanford which if you're not able to think logically this is probably why you didn't get into Stanford my darling I'm just 
I'm just saying. I have another theory that is probably very wrong, but I'm going to put it on film just to say that I have it on film in case it ends up being right. Lexi has a friend named Zane who has been conveniently at every location that Lexi has been pretending to be Alicia at, but like not with Lexi, just conveniently there, like pops up out of nowhere. So what I'm thinking is that Zane is secretly in love with Lexi and he's said multiple times that he doesn't like that she feels that she needs to pretend to be Alicia because she's like perfect the way she is blah 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 so I'm thinking that it's actually Zane killing all these boys and saying that is Alicia so that Lexi and Ava will stop being Alicia because now she's like a wanted criminal because he just wants her to be herself you know so that's my theory probably very wrong but I kind of want it to be true just because like that would be something different but I do feel like it is probably the whole triplet thing going on because Alicia has been spotted around town and on camera and blah okay, blah blah. Okay so at this point this video is just me ranting about how stupid Lexi is. So Eli gets murdered obviously we knew that was gonna happen and she immediately runs to his body, kneels down in his blood and tries to stop the bleeding. So now the blood is all over her and then she's like oh shit now the police are gonna think it's me so the most probable thing that i should do right now is run away so her hands are covered in blood so she uses the side of the white van to get up so now her handprints are all over the van in eli's blood and so there's two people in the alleyway that he was killed in and she decides to run by them while covered in blood and she stuffed her bloody shirt into a garbage bin like beside the alley She's like, I have to be one step ahead of the police now because they're gonna think it's me. Like, maybe just call the police and just say what happened. Like, I just, I don't know. I can't with her character. Like, I just don't, I don't understand the logic and it's driving me crazy. Lexi's an idiot. You kind of deserve to be taken down at this point because you're doing everything that you should not be doing. Why you went to go warn Eli in the first place is beyond me. So at this point, like you deserve to get caught because if you're gonna be that stupid, I kind of want her to get arrested and charged with murder now because you're an idiot. You deserve it. This girl is pissing me off. Oh my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> this has just turned into a I hate Lexi rant. She did that whole thing with Eli's body, got blood everywhere. And then she called Zane, who is secretly in love with her. I was right about that part, but she calls him basically asking him to like bail her out. So he gets her, picks her up at this diner that she's hiding out in and brings her to his place. Earlier in the book, we found out that he is a surfer and he's like good enough to be GoPro. So he's supposed to get on a flight to Tahiti for some like competition thing. And we find out that he skipped the flight in order to help Lexi. And the first thing that she says when she wakes up and finds that out is, oh my God, he's bailing on me. Like that's why he left and went to go get the flight. So now I'm all alone. And I'm like, you're not even upset that you're costing your best friend's future um, to help you cover up a murder that happened. You have to be like pretty full of yourself not to consider that you're ruining someone else's future. Like I get it that she's like panicking and stuff, but you're so self-absorbed. It makes me so angry. Like I'm just so over this bitch. Like thankfully I'm almost done. Um, But yeah, uh, two stars probably. M probably one star. The Unless the ending is something like blows my mind like one to two stars at most i just <sighs> okay so i was right it is triplets but apparently their names were ruby raquel and robin when the mom left them at the doorstep of the restaurant the dad changed the name to ava and alexa and then alicia is there like remembering that they had a sister ruby pretends to be alicia at the same time and it's just a big mess at this point so i just want everyone to know that mom chose a terrible book but i only have 46 pages left so we're gonna push through it ava has a warrant out for her they're all on the run with zane because now ruby's joining their little bandwagon i hope they all die in the end so apparently the killer is the cook who is actually the sister of the triplets mom and she's like trying to protect them in some way this is the 
stupidest ending. I'm not done yet, but Lexi just found Cecilia, who's the cook, her phone. And she's like super confused because Cecilia has always said that she's like scared of technology. She doesn't like it. Her phone is like an old beat up like flip phone with a keyboard kind of thing. But she finds a brand new phone in Ruby's bathroom and she's like, oh, somebody left their phone. Like, whose is it? And Ruby's like, oh, that's Aunt Cecilia's. And she's like, no, what are you talking about? It's not Aunt Cecilia's. So then the police break in and they like arrest Ruby and Ava thinking that it's Lexi and Ava. So Lexi like sneaks out of the back door and goes with the Cecilia's phone to Zane's van. Cecilia just had her huge monologue about how she explained why she committed the crime and killed all the boys because she was trying to protect the girls because that's her job since they were babies blah 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 so she pulls a gun out of her pocket and she's like yo zane you better come with me back into the car before i fuck you up and she didn't say that because she's a little old lady but zane's like yeah okay i'm coming and he like walks slowly towards her and then he rams her into the wall and makes her like shoot the gun up into the air he's like holding her hands on the alley wall and he says to lexi okay like come over here and find the knife it's got to be on her so <laughs> I'm just gonna read this passage to you because it just it uh, it says the fight seems to have gone out of her and she sags under zane's grip her eyes fixed on the ground are you ready for this are you ready okay i say patting her jacket pocket we need the knife it's the only thing linking cecilia to all the murders it's ava and my key to freedom and she's got to have it on her as i search something wet drops to the dusty asphalt and i follow the dark rivulets of blood up zane's arm to his shoulder don't move i say my voice as steady as i can make it i found the knife damn zane says as he sees what i see the handle of the knife sticking out just below his collarbone the whole passage is just so stupid like he's like oh <laughs> Damn, I got stabbed. He's just like, let me keep holding this bitch against the wall. Like, I'm pretty sure if I got stabbed in the collarbone, I would be like screaming. Like, I wouldn't just be like, damn. So the cops come and then arrest Cecilia and take Zane to the ambulance. And Lexi's dad comes and he's like, I thought you were in custody. They told me you were in custody. And she's like, no, no, like, not me. I'll explain it later. And then she's like covered in blood. And her dad's like, uh, are you okay? And she's like, oh, it's not mine. Zane just got cut. Meanwhile, he has a fucking like this butcher knife in his fucking neck like oh he just got cut don't worry so i finished the book i can't decide if i'm gonna give it a one or a two i think i think i'm gonna give it a two just because i recently gave the blessed a one star and like i hated that book i did not hate this book it just frustrated me so we're gonna go with a two star but now for my favorite part of the video we get to actually find out what this book is called i'm gonna say it's either called alicia or the triplets those are like the two titles that would make sense are we ready to find out the big reveal of what this book is called ready three two one uh, it's called the third twin and it's by CJ Omolulu, the third twin. That makes sense. I said the triplets, so I was pretty close. Yeah, I I would not say that this was necessarily a good book. So, but I mean, it was entertaining, but very frustrating. So, like I said, we are going with a two star. I believe I got this from the thrift store because it's not an arc, so it just kind of makes sense that it would be from the thrift store. It is apparently from 2015, which honestly that checks out. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me on this blind book vlog. I will eventually read the other two books. When that will happen, we do not know. It'll be on my channel when it is. If you guys are interested in the first video of this challenge, I guess it's a challenge, then I'll leave that down below. I'll also leave the blind try a chapter tag video up if you guys want to go look at that and then vote on which book you want next. I honestly do not remember what they are. I believe that one of them I thought was missing Leah and the other one is something to do with fire and frost so i don't know go watch that video and let me know which one you want me to read next and i will see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>